it's going to be a very quick September favourites from me today because long story short, I've filmed this once already and it has disappeared off of my memory card so yeah, this is me, take two, this is my September favourites, I hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to get things started with foundations and you might have been able to tell through the description boxes of... Ooh, ah! And you might have been able to tell through all of the description boxes in my YouTube videos that I've been wearing this a lot, along with the Dior Nude Skin BB Cream. I love this. I think it's one of my favourite kind of medium to full coverage foundations. It is just gorgeous. I'm wearing that today, but I've also been loving the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. Longest name ever. Um, but I love this, especially with um, the Dior Glow Primer. I can't remember what it's called. That and this mixed together is like my dream combination. I think I've mentioned that in some of my videos back in spring. I just love the combination of the two and this just was forgotten about for a very long time and it's kind of like wormed its way back into my makeup routine and I couldn't be happier about that because it genuinely is one of the best full coverage foundations I've ever used. If you're wondering what all the rustling is, that is Nala. I'm having to leave my door open because she currently like scratches at the door when um, I close the bedroom door. So I'm just having to kind of let her come in and out. So she's making a little bit of a jingling noise now. We've got her collar on her. So cute. And then we move on to eyes and there's a fair few things I've been loving for eyeshadows this month. Firstly, I've been loving the NARS Dual, in Dual Intensity Eyeshadows. These are just gorgeous. They're like a really beautiful metallic -y finish and they just are gorgeous used wet or dry. Um, I've been loving Dion and Serba. Serba is like a purpley browny colour and then Dion is kind of like a metallic-y, silvery, goldy, bronzy colour. Very, lots of mixes in there. My only um, kind of thing is they're very cool tone so I do struggle with them on my skin tone sometimes but for kind of like nights out these have been absolutely gorgeous. I think they are beautiful and I really just like kind of like the light metallic -y shades like Dion um, just used kind of like dry just for an everyday wash of colour, I think they are beautiful. And continuing with the metallic -y theme, the Bobbi Brown um, Longwear Eye Pencil in Bronze. This is just gorgeous, I've been loving this. It's a beautiful warm metallic -y brown and I just love it. I've been using it kind of like on my lower lash line or just kind of all over the lid and smudged out as an eyeshadow and I just think that these are beautiful and they are super long wearing. Really difficult to get off as I found the other day but I just think they're gorgeous and I really need to get some more Bobbi Brown um, eyeliners. The only thing is I'm kind of toying between these and the NARS ones because some of the NARS ones are absolutely gorgeous so I'm kind of like priorities, first world problems. And then finally for eyeshadow I have been absolutely loving Max Sober. My Sober is really hard to get the lid off, it really hurts my thumb. Um, Sober is just a gorgeous kind of like bronzy, goldy, kind of very neutral eyeshadow. It's got tiny flecks of gold in it but it barely comes off on the lid and I just love it in the crease for kind of warming up um, any eyeshadows that I've got on especially when used with like the NARS ones that are quite cool toned. I think it just looks beautiful and I've got quite a mix of um, eyeshadows on today. I've got loads of different ones but this is in there just warming everything up and looking super gorgeous so I love this. And then for blush I've been loving NARS Douceur. This is just like the perfect kind of neutral, non-offensive blush. It's so hard to kind of go overboard with or to get wrong and I think it just suits every skin tone. It's just stunning. I love it. It's kind of like a more um, darker version of Rimmel, um, what's it called? What is it called? I've got it. It's kind of like a darker version of Rimmel Santa Rose which is gorgeous and is one of my all-time favourite blushes. I've actually been really loving this as well this month. It's like a darker version of that so if you're looking for something similar and you're kind of on a budget then check out Rimmel for their blushes because they are just gorgeous but I've been loving this a lot this month especially with all of the NARS loving that my makeup bag has been kind of hiding recently and then we have lip products so where do I even start I'm gonna get started with Tom Ford because this is a brand that hasn't really featured very much on my blog or my YouTube channel ever and um, partially due to the really quite high price tag um, but I got sent a few of their bits and I actually do really like them to the point where I've gone and bought myself a fair few other pieces from them. Naughty Susie. Um, this is the colour Crimson Noir and it is just gorgeous. It's kind of, a, it looks like a very orangey burnt red in uh, the tube but actually when you apply it on your lips it's a really gorgeous kind of very rich ready slightly pinky berry tone colour which is just make it makes it perfect for autumn and kind of like the winter seasons it really is stunning I've got a blog post that is going up on my blog this week 
fingers crossed, um, all about this, just purely dedicated to this because I do love it that much. And then carrying on with the autumnal theme, we have NARS, another NARS product. I love NARS, can you tell? Can you? Can you? I don't know. This is the satin lip pencil in Mandor, which is, I think it's a limited edition one at the moment, but actually it's very similar to um, another one of their velvet lip pencils that I have. Can't remember the, what it's called. I'll link it up below if I can. Um, but this is a kind of more brownie ready version rather than a pinky ready version, but like next to each other in the pencils, they look identical. But this is just gorgeous. I've been looking for something that is like a brownie red for such a long time. Now there was a Burberry offering that was very similar to this, but with a bit more of a sheeny finish. And I didn't want the sheeny finish and I didn't want the Burberry price tag at the time. So I just waited it out and I found this and I just absolutely love it. I've worn it so, so much. I've done a blog post about it already. So I will link that up below. It is just absolutely stunning. And I love the fact that with the satin lip pencils, they are like the matte lip pencils, but they're so not drying. So when you first apply them, they're a little bit more easy to work with, easy to smudge out, and then they set and they kind of do go matte after a very long time. And it just makes them so, so long lasting. And I really do rate NARS lip pencils a lot. I think if there was one lip product that I could buy for the rest of my life, it would be these. That's a bold statement. And then we have a MAC lipstick. Another one of my favorite kinds of lip products ever, but I can't remember if I mentioned this in my last video and I just wanted to mention it again, even if I did. This is Max Cream Cup, and I kind of <laughs> bought this about three years ago now. It's almost as old, I think it is as old as my blog is. I think this was my first MAC lipstick. And I just, I forgot about it. I really didn't like it. It didn't work for me. And since I've started lining my lips, it looks so much better because otherwise it just looks really smudged out and overdrawn for some reason. My lips are just a very weird natural colour and just look weird a lot but I'm wearing this today and I just absolutely love it it's so so beautiful it's just like the perfect kind of nude pink but it has very strong hints of pink rather than a slight hint of pink and more white if that makes sense so it just looks like there's more colour on your lips and I just absolutely love it especially with the amount of black that I wear I wear a lot of black and I just think that it complements um, an all black outfit really nicely if you are going for something that's nude but you want a little tiny bit of colour so yeah I'm out of breath now. Whew. And then we have something that's really exciting, and I'm not even joking about how excited I am about this. I've got a nail varnish favourite, and I don't know if you've noticed, but over the past like six months, I've been biting my nails like a beaver. There have been no nails on this these hands. I've had to turn down brown work because I just can't do nail varnish to any justice because they just look so stubby and so disgusting, and I just spat and ugh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting a bit overexcited, but I am really, really excited just to have a nail polish in my favourites for once again. It's just such an exciting time for me. I just, oh, I'm just going to calm down now. But yeah, this is Essie Bordeaux, and I've been wanting this nail polish for such a long time, and I have some very similar ones in my collection, which are just starting to dry up. So this was the perfect excuse to buy this, and doesn't it just look beautiful? Look at that. I have nails, I have, they actually have length, like I have to be careful when I play with the dog now because I might actually scratch her, it's so exciting, not the scratching my dog but just the having nails, it's just, anyway, this is like the perfect ready brownie nail polish, it actually goes really perfectly with my NARS lip pencil and I did wear these together the other night and felt rather fancy, um, but yeah, I just love this. I love the SE um, diffusion range that is available in Boots and Superdrug. I love them and I have nothing else to say other than that. And how exciting is it that I am finally wearing nail varnish again. Well, that went rather quickly. This is, Hopefully this will be rather easy to edit. Who knows? Um, so that is it for my September favourites. That was rather exciting and a very express September favourites. Wow, I don't think I've ever done one so quickly. <laughs> that is it for September. How exciting is it that we're nearly on October? Can you tell by the name of my YouTube channel and blog that I love October? Can you? I don't know, can you? Can you? Do you know why? Do you know why? I don't even know if you know why. Um, basically my birthday is in October, so it's just naturally my favorite month and I'm a complete autumn, autumnal fiend. Yes, that is, the, that is the word, Susie, autumnal is the word. Um, Oh my god, I'm mental this afternoon. But yeah, I love October and it's my favourite month. It's my birthday next week. It's my birthday on Thursday. I'm going to be 23. How exciting is that? I love birthdays. I will never not love birthdays. I don't know why. It's like Christmas. I don't know. Oh my god, this is what happens to me when I have a coffee and a tea in the space of two hours. Oh my god. Anyway, yeah, it's October almost and I'm really excited. Not just because it's my birth. Oh, Nala! Come here. Hi! 
So yeah, I'm really excited because not only is it my birthday, but I'm actually vlogging every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday, fingers crossed, throughout October and I'm really excited. I decided to do it just because it's my month. It is my month and I thought that it would be really fun and I'm going to try it and give it a go and yeah, wish me luck. It's going to be a mix of videos, but there will hopefully be a video every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Monday and Sunday are going to be my I hate myself days because I'm literally going to spend Saturday editing. It's going to be crazy. Luckily, I have the first three days of October off work. <laughs> I'm a bit scared. Can you tell? <laughs> I'm going to leave my little October ramble here because otherwise this video will end up being like 15 minutes long. But I hope you like it and I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you're excited for Vlogtober and uh, let me know what your favourites were in the comments and let me know if there's any ready autumnal lip or any products that I need because frankly I want to collect them all. Um, yeah, I hope you're all having a lovely Sunday or whenever you watch this, I hope you're having a lovely day um, and I will see you guys on Wednesday for the start of October. I'm excited. <laughs>